Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So we are going to be going through my top five smudge proof, flake proof, long wearing mascaras that actually make your lashes look longer and more full and basically aren't a whole heap of marketing lies. <laughs> there are a lot of mascaras out there. There's a lot of marketing out there. And I mean, we've all seen the ads in the magazines where the girls' lashes just look like seriously massive. They're wearing falsies. Please do not believe those ads. Then they're fake. <laughs> uh, if you are familiar with me and you are familiar with my channel, you will already know I have an oily skin type and I really, really, really struggle with mascaras transferring and smudging underneath my eyes, on top of my eyes. Like I just end up looking like I've got big black raccoon eyes. Like it's, it is not a good look at all. Uh, and these are my five most reached for, most loved, most used mascaras that for me and in my experience do not transfer do not smudge, do not flake, and they actually make a difference to my lashes, the way that my lashes look and feel. And yeah, they basically give me lashes that I don't already have. Now, I also have quite lame <laughs> natural lashes. There's no better way to say it. They are quite short and they are straight. So yeah, for me, I've, I'm quite picky about mascaras because they really do need to actually work and they do need to actually last on my skin to make the cut. So yeah, that's pretty much what we will be doing in today's video. So if you are interested in learning about my top five smudge proof, transfer proof, flake proof mascaras, then please stick around. I've got a mixture of drugstore and higher end. Um, firstly, I do want to say Maybelline mascaras are pretty well your best bet at the drugstore. I have tried a lot of other brands. I've tried uh, L'Oreal, I've tried Makeup Revolution, I've tried Rimmel, I've tried <laughs> NYX, all of the drugstore brands. Maybelline nearly always, always, always comes out on top with their mascaras. They just know what they're doing with mascaras. They've got really, really good brushes, really, really good long lasting formulas. Um, yeah, their mascaras are hands down my favorite at the drugstore. And I do have one here that I want to mention from Maybelline as well. The Colossal Big Shot Volume Express. This is my most used and most loved Maybelline mascara over the past year. It's just absolutely amazing. It's got a really, really nice bristle brush. I've got quite small eyes. So again, I'm quite finicky with my mascaras. I don't want the brush to be too big because I need to be able to get to my lashes on the inner corner and the outer corner without you know my mascara ending up absolutely everywhere. This one does the job. It gives my lashes volume and length. It makes them look a whole lot bigger than they are naturally. And it does not transfer. Like once this is on, it's not going anywhere. It's quite easy to remove at the end of the day too, which I really, really love. Smudge proof, flake proof, transfer proof. It's an absolute winner. So yeah, that's my one from Maybelline. Now I do have another from the drugstore. And if you guys watched any of my videos in the past 12 months, you would have heard me talking about this already. The Essence Lash Princess. I absolutely love this stuff. Again, same brush. Like you'll probably notice all the mascaras that I'm about to show you have essentially got the same brushes because they're the brushes that I just love working with. So little bristle brush, tapers towards the end. It's a nice small compact size, making it really, really easy to get to all the lashes, even all of the lower lashes. I love this stuff. It is smudge proof and it really, really makes my lashes look absolutely massive. Um, a lot of people, I do get comments from people saying that they've tested this and it didn't work, but then I find out that they've used uh, not, it basically it comes in different packaging. It comes in black with purple writing and in black with blue writing. The one that I love and the one that I swear by is the black with the green writing. So it's the Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. I can wear this all day without it transferring or smudging or flaking and it's just, it's beautiful. You can totally wear this and have lashes that look fake. Really, really amazing. And it's also the most affordable out of all of the mascaras, which is really cool as well. Next up, an absolute holy grail and has been a holy grail for like six plus years now is this mascara by MAC. It is the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash. It's got quite a big name. This is seriously the best brush ever for if you have smaller petite sized eyes like I do. It is absolutely tiny. I really, really love it. It's so easy to use and really nice and thin and tapered towards the end. Coats all of the lashes. And I find that when I use this, you know, I've got lashes on the inner and outer corner that I didn't even know that I had kind of a thing because it just really, really gets in there and coats everything. It looks amazing on the lower lashes. It will give you really, really long kind of lashes. It doesn't do too much for volume. It's more of like a lengthening mascara. But for me, like... I have been through tubes and tubes and tubes and tubes of this. It is absolutely incredible. 
You will not get any transferring. You will not get any smudging. You will not have black areas on your eyes anywhere. Like it is absolutely budge proof, but it's not like a waterproof formula at all. It's still like a normal formula. So very, very easy to remove at the end of the day. I do have very sensitive dry eyes. It does not irritate my eyes at all. Like probably out of everything in this video, this is like the be all end all. This is my hands down favorite, most used, most loved over the years for the longest time mascara. It's just absolutely amazing. And I just love that the brush is so small because it just makes it easier. There's nothing worse than you've done a full face of makeup. You know, it's like five to eight and you need to leave to get to work in time. You're putting on mascara and it ends up everywhere because the brush is so big. There's seriously nothing more frustrating than that. I understand the struggle will not happen with this mascara it is so easy to apply and it's so 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 long lasting it's awesome all right next up i have a mascara from hourglass this is the caution mascara and funnily enough again and this is like oh it's just this video is going to be on repeat on repeat exactly the same brush as the others like pretty much in actual fact um the essence is nearly a bang on exact dupe for this hourglass mascara this hourglass one will give you stacks and stacks of volume. Look at the two brushes. They're like essentially, literally exactly the same. Heaps of volume, heaps of length, really false looking lashes, but without like weighing them down and making them feel heavy. It holds a curl really, really well. And best of all, it doesn't transfer and it doesn't smudge and it doesn't end up flaking and like putting like little black specks all over your face during the day. Um, they did a really, really good job with this formula. There was a lot of marketing with it when it came out. Um, and I know a lot of people are like, oh, I don't know. Are they pushing too hard with the marketing? Does that mean it's not actually that good? It's honestly better it is better than you think it will be it's such a beautiful formula really nice packaging too it's like quite weighty heavy packaging it's really really nice um, I love this mascara and again if you are into or if you have trouble the same trouble as me with things transferring you will really really enjoy this one and then lastly number five is this little guy from Tarte this is the light camera lashes mascara from Tarte it is an amazing mascara I mean this is like so embarrassing again exactly the same brush like I'm telling you guys I love these for a reason so bristle brush slightly tapered towards the end allowing you to get into the areas that you need lots of volume lots of length really opens up the eyes really helps to like lift the lashes curl the lashes up won't weigh them down and no transferring and no smudging and no flaking like this is a really really nice mascara again this is another product that I've used for years and years and years I feel like it was maybe one of maybe the second or third high-end mascara that I ever purchased because everybody was raving on about it and I was like well there must be a reason why everybody's talking about this yeah there is it's absolutely amazing um really really recommend this formula it's a nice dry formula too i hate mascaras that are like super wet and you apply them and pretty much as soon as you blink you end up with it transferring underneath and on top because the formula hasn't dried yet so yeah all of these mascaras that i'm showing you um in this video as well they've got really nice dry formulas they're basically like foolproof you can chuck them on without thinking and not have to worry about making a huge mess kind of a thing. So there you have it guys. Those are my top five smudge proof, transfer proof mascaras. I hope that this video was helpful. I hope that was everything that you wanted it to be. I know that a lot of you did want to see it. So yeah, hope that it helps you. And um, let me know your comments and your thoughts in the comment section down below. Have you tried any of these? Do you love them? And also like equally, do you hate them? Did you have a really bad experience with them? I kind of wonder does it differ between batches sometimes or does it differ between countries sometimes um yeah i'm curious so let me know your experiences down below and yeah give the video a thumbs up if you liked it make sure to subscribe hit the notification bell so that you know all of my new uploads and that's about it from me so i love you guys heaps i hope you're having an amazing day and i'll catch you all in my next video